one more. It better stay hot. I'm tired of this changing <laughs> weather stuff. Hot one day, cold another. Weather, make up your mind. Oh, Bob, I have to agree with that last renter. Oh, I mean, 42 degrees one day, 60 the next when wait, you wake up. Wait, I, we got to get to that. We've got something more important. I, breaking news, the lady said yes last night. Oh, that's right. The proposal, remember? And it was all because Facebook of you. Facebook fan of the day. See? It was and I scared the guy. <laughs> if you weren't here, <laughs> one of our rants was uh, somebody proposed to a woman. And, uh, well, that didn't come out right. A guy proposed to a woman. <laughs> And uh, we were waiting for the uh, answer, and, and I said last night that I had the answer, and I didn't, but you had to, you had to, it's one of those things you had to be there, but of course you were. <laughs> Let's take a look at the big storm in the Northeast. Now, this is the storm that gave us the real nasty air, real nasty stuff yesterday in Northeast Texas with three or four tornadoes reported. Now that storm is on the East Coast. Take a look at all the rainfall from Boston all the way down to about Tampa, and on the backside, some snow, but that snow is mainly going to fall up in Canada. It is getting the time of season where that snow is getting pushed farther and farther to the north. Look at the temperatures, though. Some cold air coming down into the U.S., 7 degrees in Pear, uh, South Dakota, but 53 here, and we are not going to get the cold air. We are going to stay mild, to, if not warm, for that person that ranted. And I, I actually think the person that ranted that last one ran the first one. They had the same tone. At least, uh, at least I got that feeling. 53, your current temperature. Winds coming down a little bit. Only 9 miles per hour. And that's good news because it was uh, a chilly wind during the day today. 53, your current temperature. 29 is the dew point. 65 and 45, the daytime high and low. And it will be a cool night. Maybe a touch of frost in some of the communities uh, to our north, but probably upper 30 should do it for the uh, big cities and the mid city area. Uh, light northerly winds tonight. A chilly night tonight, but once that sun comes out tomorrow, it should warm us up a few more degrees than we were today. Maybe upper 60s the farther west you go. Could touch 70 tomorrow afternoon, but overall it looks nice. But look what happens for Friday as the high shifts to the east, the return flow around it brings up southerly winds and they're going to be strong. We could have 25 mile per hour winds on Friday and there could be a high fire danger out to our west. But notice how dry it stays and that cool front really isn't going to do much. May drop us a few degrees as we head into Saturday. But overall looks pretty good. Look at these temperatures for tomorrow right around average. And the sun will be shining all day long. Clear skies, chilly tonight, 34 to 39. Sunny, very pretty tomorrow, 65 to about 70. Winds will be light. That's very nice. Next couple days look good. Friday, we've got to deal with that wind. Could be 25 miles per hour or more. Weekend, Saturday, the better day of the two. We become cloudy Sunday. Late Sunday night into early Monday. Maybe a couple of showers or thunder showers as the next week cool front comes on in and temperatures start to warm a little bit early next week.